I'm Charlene Lasher and I'm a member of the Minnetonka Church. The first thing I have to say is as a child I hated family worship. My father would read from the King James Version for one hour and then pray for about that long. And so I hated it and could hardly wait for it to be over. Um, decided that when I grew up and had my own family that things would be different. I grew up a Seventh-day Adventist and was baptized at the age of 14. Um, but at that time of your life, you kind of accept religious beliefs as those of your parents. And as I got older, I had to make a decision whether I would just wear the religion or the beliefs or whether I would own it. And in 1972 is my year to become a Christian because that's when I decided, yes, Jesus Christ is part of my personal life and will be. It was fun. Uh, we did unconventional things. Um, Larry and I would uh, build a scene from a Bible story out of Legos and then the girls had to guess what Bible story it was from and then tell us as much of that story as they remembered. Uh, we played a lot of Bible trivia games. We had a calculator game that we played where you would add up numbers of certain things in the Bible and the total, if you turned the calculator upside down, would have some kind of biblical saying. Worship went on for quite a while. We always started Sabbath with a special dinner um, with the good china and candles and that's how we ushered in the Sabbath. And then Friday night was totally worship time until it was time for them to go to bed. Well, first of all, we read to them constantly. So we would read a Bible story in the morning before we went to church. Um, and we would read to them again as the sun went down. Um, we took a lot of family bike rides into nature on Sabbaths. We made sure that the activities that we had were um, something that the girls would enjoy. Um, riding bikes, um, playing games again, Bible games. Um, and the girls got better at Bible trivia than Larry and I. As they went off to academy, they were away from home. I had no control over what they were going to do for worship or if they had worship. But I was always very pleased when I visited them to see the Bible right next to their bed. Well, Larry and I were so wrapped up in the girls that when they left home, we kind of just did our own worship individually and um, uh, after Larry passed away it was hard for me to get back into worship again. Um, there were a lot of things about his leaving that I didn't and still don't understand but the one thing I knew was that God was with me. And so I have um, developed a, re a relationship with him every morning before I come to work and while I come to work. I read from the Psalms. I enjoy the New Testament of the Bible more than the Old Testament because it seems to provide guidance, encouragement, and hope, and a lot of wisdom for me as a single person. And um, I also have a devotional book called Jesus Calling that I have read for the fourth year in a row. 
They're short snippets of um, information and wisdom that um, always seem to be appropriate for that day for me. A lot of people listen to music. That's my time to have a conversation with God. I tell him what's on my mind. I um, tell him I'm struggling. Uh, you know, I know that you're there, but I need some evidence today for you to reveal yourself to me. And um, that's, that's my ride, is talking with him. Many times the phone will ring and there will be somebody on the other end of the phone while I'm at work and I listen to what they have to say and I don't know what to tell them. And at that point I just utter a silent prayer and say, God give me the words to help these people or point them in the right direction. Um, there are times when work here at the office is very stressful and I just have to take a deep breath and once again offer another prayer and say, Lord, you can get me through this day. I know you can. I kind of consider myself the front door of, the, of this church because I'm the first person that people hear on the phone or see when they come in to ask a question or have a concern. You learn a lot from your children, and by teaching your children, I have, I have been blessed. Um, I also um, know that Christ will always be there. He's my best friend. He's the only person I have now to turn to. He is my biblical husband. And, um, he has promised to never leave or forsake us. And there is no better friend to have than Jesus Christ.